Hello everyone and welcome to a new reaction video. My name is Larissa and today I'm going to continue reacting to Westworld. Uh, today I'm going to watch episode 2 from season 1 and I still have a lot of questions. I think I will keep having a lot of questions because um, yeah of course that's always in the beginning of a show but um, I'm very curious where this is going. Uh, so yeah, let's continue. You must be William. Welcome to Westworld. Start in the center of the park. It's simple. So now we're going to see what it's like for the people who like go there. And that's great because no I really want to know that. Remember. Jimba, remember who you are. One final touch. Which would you prefer? How do we get into the park? Okay, so they, they start like in that train. This is so cool to see this from their perspective, from the people who like visit the park. For these crowns you will be hung from the neck. Parents would actually take their children there on holiday. I mean, it seems kind of cool to me, but and you can get hurt, so it's not like it's dangerous or anything. But still. You never told me you had a family. That's what I love about this place. The maze. How do I find the entrance? I told you. I don't know anything about no fucking names. Feel bad, my friend. My cousins are usually so hospitable. You don't understand, Lauren. Been coming here for 30 years. You know, since I was 
I was born there. <laughs> Yeah, that's easy, right? When you can't get hurt. He's just, he's just taking out that entire town. Just like um, one of those psychos who who doesn't like the real world and just wants to live there and never get back to the real world. And she's alone now. Listen, can't you hear that spell? Yes. Spell. Oh. What? I did not see that coming. Okay. Did they dream? What? In her story, she said she dreamed. Do we make them dream? Fuck would be the point of that. Dreams are mainly memories. Can you imagine how fuck we'd be if these poor assholes ever remembered what the guests do to them? Do you give them the concept of dreams. Specifically nightmares. Alright, gorgeous. You're back to the races. You're gonna wait in three, two, one. So I ran away across the shining sea. A lot of people who just come there to kill people, right? Well, people feels like they are people and then they just kill them and I don't know, <laughs> it's a little fucked up if you ask me. What's up with those like memories or dreams of her? She has a daughter? him again but did this really happen like because he said he had been coming there for 30 years could this like really have happened in the past and even though they say they can't remember things maybe she does remember it somewhere I don't know now she's dreaming about it You just got that shit on and rinse. What the fuck are you talking about? Bubbles. You're not making a little bubble. You're not doing shit. Fuck. Fuck. What the fuck? fuck? Shit. Fuck. Oh my god. No. Oh. Fuck. Oh my god. She's escaping. She like woke up in the real world. Is she gonna see those other 
robots, those other hosts. Oh, they're all putting them back together. I swear I put it in sleep mode. Does this look like fucking sleep mode? Is she gonna like remember that? Ah, oh, this shit's fucking weird, you know. Because you almost start to feel sorry for them even though they actually can't have emotions. But it's still like they're just torturing yeah. people and even though they're not real, it just feels wrong. And I think they're starting to find things out. Odyssey on Red River. No. Sorry? No, I don't think so. They already know who they are. Isn't there anything you like about it? Besides the boots. Promising a new story, I have been working on for some time. Something quite original. I think we're already discovering more and that's great i like that because last episode i was still a bit like what is this and what are they doing with that town how is it possible that some people can get hurt and now i understand that those people who can get hurt are the guests of course uh, i understand how the guests get there and it was really nice to see that and i think it was good that they didn't like immediately show it in the first episode to just still leave us with some questions to think about it but like not wait too long with showing what is actually going on and how it actually works because then you just leave people questioning things and they're just like what the hell am i watching and i think they did, did that right to just show us now in the second episode and um, how it all works and that was really interesting and i gotta say i am starting to like it already uh, more than i did it was already in the first episode it was really interesting and i was like okay I think I like it, but I have no idea where this is going yet. And now I kind of have an idea and I am getting more excited for what's going to happen next. I honestly think that those hosts are slightly starting to figure out what's going to happen because um, they've been updating them so much and I think they're getting smarter and smarter. And I think it's like with all those uh, robot type movies with uh, robots taking over in the end, um, I think it's something like that, like not that they're going to take over, but that they're going to find stuff out and that they're starting to understand how things work. And also with Maeve waking up, and that was like really weird and fucked up, but that that showed you kind of how there's still like some sort of people who like want to know where they are and who have no idea what's happening to them. And like I already said, even though they're like robots and they shouldn't or couldn't really feel emotions you still kind of feel bad for them because it still feels like some assholes are just fucking up some people in a town and destroying their lives even though they're not real but it just seems like those those hosts like they have feelings and they and they do sort of have opinions on things and they can feel pain and of course they don't know that after and they just get cleaned up and put back together and they have no idea what happened before but still it feels wrong so right now i have a feeling that um it's going to have to do with something with with the hosts realizing what they are what's happening and like coming in sort of a rebellion or something i just have no idea i think this is one of the things where it could could be going but i'm very excited to continue watching i really like it now last episode i was still a bit like i like it but i hope it won't continue with so many questions as i have now and now i think they they already gave us some answers which is which is nice for me the only thing that's still a bit hard sometimes is to like uh, notice that people who like work there uh, are also sometimes in that world and Especially you had that man who was with that boy and, and only in the end I found out that that was actually just that man in charge there So yeah, there are so many things you have to pay attention to and I honestly have to say I am a little tired So it's possible that I miss things and of course I still have to get to know the characters a bit better to judge about things and and I also like have to um, Completely understand the story to actually judge about it. So yeah, I'm just going to see what this show is gonna bring 
and i hope you liked my reaction let me know what you thought of it and like i said last time please no spoilers uh, did you like this then please leave a like subscribe and then i really hope to see you next time bye